Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll be looking at the different shapes of molecules. Now, if you look at the shapes of molecules, when atoms combine, they combine at different um, angles and in different ways to form different shapes. The shapes of the molecules are determined by the type of bonding and the way the electrons are shared and the repulsion and attraction between the protons of the electrons in the atom. And to begin with, we will look at uh, the linear molecule. If you look at the, the, the linear shape, linear means straight. And if you look, the, the most obvious linear molecule that you will have is the hydrogen molecule. And another example will be HCl. And usually, when we have a straight line, we have linear molecules. So any two molecules, any two atoms that are in a line, will form a linear molecule. Then the next one that we have is the angular molecule. And if you look at the angular molecule, basically it is the water molecule is the most popular example because we see that the hydrogen and oxygen atoms are bonded at an angle which forms a bond angle of 104,5 degrees. And the reason for that is because they are electrons um, lone pair electrons on this side which repel the hydrogens to form an angular structure. Going further, we see that uh, we get another shaped molecule which is called trigonal planar. And the trigonal planar molecule is a flat molecule. As you can see here, the boron and the fluorines are all in a straight line. It's more like a mercedes band sign, as I would say, because it's flat molecule where the fluorines are bonded to the boron uh, without any angles involved. And the contrast will be the pyramidal structure, which is the NH3 structure, where we see that the nitrogen is on the top and the hydrogens are pushed away uh, due to the lone pair on the top, and it forms a pyramid. If we have to draw lines here, we'll see that we can form a pyramidal structure. Then another structure that we have is the tetrahedral structure. And the tetrahedral structure, the best example we can use is CH4, uh, which uh, we know as methane. We could also use CCL4, which we, uh, which we commonly call carbon tetrachloride. And we see here that this structure is a structure that um, is four molecules around uh, a central atom. In this case, it will be the carbon atom. Then two more shapes that I would like to highlight in this session will be the PCL5 molecule. The PCL5 molecule is a trigonal bipyramidal molecule where we see that we have the phosphorus in the center and then we got chlorine, chlorine, and chlorine. And these three are flat like the Mercedes-Benz sign. And on top of that, we've got another chlorine. And at the bottom, we've got another chlorine. So we have phosphorus in the center with five chlorines surrounding it. And the last structure we would look at today will be the octahedral structure. And the octahedral structure will be the SF6 structure, where in the center we have the sulfur um, atom. And around it, we will have six fluorines, which make up the structure as in this picture here. So to round up again, we see that we will be highlighting the shapes of molecules. We have a linear molecule, which we can, uh, which is any two atoms that are joined together. We have the angular molecule. The best example will be water. We got a trigonal planar molecule, BF3. We've got a pyramidal molecule, which is ammonia, NH3. Tetrahedral molecule, which uh, is CH4 or methane, as we know it. We've got a, a trigonal bipyramidal molecule, which we know, is, uh, which we, uh, an example would be PCL5 and an octahedral molecule, SF6. So that will be the basics of the different shapes of molecules that we will be discussing in this section. Thank you very much for watching.